At Trinity College, I'll be speaking to Melissa Vargas Echavarria. She's a spokesperson for Puerto Rican activists camping in front of the U.S. federal court in San Juan. And they're doing this in response to the imposition by the U.S. Congress of a fiscal board on the island. And we'll be getting into that. She's a member of the Party of Working People. She's activist in feminist causes on the island. And she's a photojournalist and radio producer for Radio Huelga, a radio station created by students on strike in 2010 at the University of Puerto Rico. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me start with some basic, really an ignorant question. What is Puerto Rico? It's not an independent country. It's not a U.S. state. They call it a commonwealth in the encyclopedia. What does that mean? It was a commonwealth, but um, recently, um, case uh, Sanchez Valle uh, explicitly explains that we're just a territory of the United States. We're a colony. We're not um, the Estado Libre Asociado anymore. So do you vote for president? No. Do you vote for senator or Congress? No. We don't. Uh, you do vote for governor? Yeah, in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And then Puerto Ricans can f freely come to Connecticut or any other state? Yes, we do. Okay, and they're, and they're citizens in that respect? We're citizens okay. of the United States. It doesn't sound like you have a lot of power, so that's... Now let's get into these, this, this PROMESA bill. What, what is it and why has it angered so many in Puerto Rico? Yeah, um, June 29th, um, President Obama signed the Puerto Rico Oversight Management and Economic Stability Act, PROMESA, by its acronym. It's a, it's a, it's a law that it's going to have um, this, um, these people who are trying to renegotiate the debt and collect the debt, but we don't really know um, how much debt is right now because we don't really know um, where the debt came from. Because if we're a territory, if we're a colony, we're not supposed to get any debt. And the press reports say it's $72 billion and uh, that Puerto Rico can't pay it, and supposedly the Congress is going to help out, but it's putting all these restrictions on it. Not only restrictions. Um, we, we're having problems, and we're going to have any more problems in education, in, in health care, and basic stuff that we need as, as citizens, that people to, to just live, like normal people needs to live. And if we get everything just out just to pay the debt um it's it's against the people and the people should be before debt and who who can be on this board is it only people people from puerto rico no it's people um um chooses um choose um by the president obama we don't vote for them and they have total authority or, or very big authority on money things in puerto rico they're supposed to collect a debt. They're going to do anything just to collect a debt, to get that money. And we're going to pay them for doing that job. That's amazing. You're going to pay the board? Yes. I, on Democracy Now!, there was a, a, an astounding story. It said that originally the debt, or part of the debt, was $4 billion, and that when all the interest is paid, let me look it up here, it, it's going to be paying thirty-three billion in interest on that four billion. It sounds pretty terrible. It is terrible, but at the at the same time, we we have all these restrictions. We have people joining in, joining the resistance move, and that's why we're camping out right now in front of the federal court to get the resistance that the people need to understand that we are against PROMESA and we 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 need people to understand that we're going to have our people to have their needs counted in. Now, let's talk about the camping. Um, how many people are there? What's it like to do this? When did it start? It started the same night that the PROMESA law was, was um, signed, the 29th of June, and we're 100 people camping out 
um, we take chips, but we're more people all around Puerto Rico. You can you can more or less um, know how many people are, are we by the conference uh, 31st of August that we 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 close down and all the people you see there there is people that are supporting us in the camp. So this conference, this was of uh, bankers or people who are going to investors. get investors, and you say it was shut down. Uh, could you explain what that was about? It was a big resistance move, and it was bigger than we thought it would be. And there was um, some police brutality involved, but we canceled the conference. So lots and lots of people get out on the street and interfered until they canceled? Yes. Um, so what other kinds of, besides this camping, what other opposition is there to the PROMESA? Are unions doing things or student groups? What other activity is there in resisting this? There are a lot of people, and not not only inside um, Puerto Rico, not, not only Puerto Ricans. We're having uh, the support of um, New York group. It's called uh, People Against Promesa, and and all and a, a lot of groups have joined in. And the the diaspora people are um, giving out money too for the camp, and it's a lot of people who are just read the law and understand the law and are against it. And they're, they're joining in and they're having their own movements and we're all um, working as a collective, pe of collective people that are just against it and we're gonna resist it. Let me go back a step. How did this pass Congress? I mean, 72 billion to you and I sounds like an enormous amount of money, but I, I seem to remember that the Congress and the president gave 12, 16 trillion to the banks when there was the Great Recession. So on that scale, 72 billion is not that much money. How did Congress pass such a severe um, measure? What about the people, the friends of Puerto Rico in, in Congress? What happened? I don't really know. I wish I know. But it, it's not about what happened. It's about what is going to happen. We're going we're gonna to still have people um, joining in, and, and we're going to have that. And we're going to have more and more and more manifestations against PROMESA, and we're going we're gonna to do it. And even though, even if PROMESA starts um, tomorrow, like, and it's going to be, I don't know, 10 years, we're going to be 10 years of resistance, 10 years of, of, of people struggling because that's what we do. And, and we're against it. And we're not going to let that just destroy our country. Not going to happen. Now, you know, we're talking about money and paying back banks. But all this must involve cutbacks in society. I mean, I read something that the electric company is planning big raises in the cost of the rates. What kind of cutbacks, austerity or is being talked about or planned? Well, right now uh, we're having a lot of issues in, in um, education, special education, and and they're not paying the, the teachers, the special education teachers, or the pathology, um, the speech pathology people, and the speech therapist. Um, there's bigger problems um, happening right now. So if PROMESA, it, it's gonna start doing something more, more uh, different, or uh, just we're we're gonna be like struggling for reals. People right now in Puerto Rico are having a debt crisis. Are having crisis in, in human resources, in human services, and it's horrible. And it's gonna be like really horrible l later on if Promesa it's 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 gonna start happening for reals. But as I say, we're gonna resist that. And I understand this is gonna be brought up in uh, Massachusetts. There's a uh, parade in two days. The uh, what's the date is the 18th, I hope. Uh, Sunday the 18th, uh, there's an annual Puerto Rican Day Parade in uh, Springfield, and there'll be some kind of delegation about this. Could you explain? Yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna have the the annual Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, um, a Puerto Rican parade, but it's gonna be the the theme is gonna be la lucha, and it's gonna involve all the people that are um, 
and trying to get Oscar Lopez free and at home. And that's the, the, the principal theme. But we're going to talk about Promesa too, because if Promesa Law has it's been implanted, we're all going to be Oscar Lopez because we're going to protest and we're all going to be in jail for it. So as long as the struggle is real, we need Oscar Lopez back in home. All right. Now, for us, for we who do not know who Oscar Lopez is, and I'm sure most of the viewers, could you talk about his case? Yeah, Puerto Rican activist, um, 35 years in prison, unjustly, 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 <laughs> and we need him back. Why was he put in prison? It was a seditious conspiracy. Is that right? Yeah, I believe that's the the words. Yeah. That's the charge. He's he's facing um, and 35 years. It's 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 too much. So he's been in jail. And what kind of thing did they say he did? That uh, the seditious cons conspiracy. I mean, did he kill people or? Mm -hmm. No. And so the, so one of the demands of the people is is to free him. Yes, we need him back home. And he's been in prison more than Nelson Mandela. It's ridiculous. And then, note to Promesa, there's going to be banners or signs in Springfield? Yes, um, there's going to be banners. And we're, we're wearing, we're trying to wear the, the black flag of Puerto Rico because right now we're not celebrating Puerto Rican um, pride. We're trying to just get the word out that we're we're in a struggle and we're resisting and that's why we wear the the puerto rican flag in black and as i understand it people are going to gather at was w-a-s-o-n wasson street and main street uh, between 10 and 11 for this uh delegation in the in the puerto rican day parade is that right that's right we're inviting all people to come and enjoy our parade well thank you very much for speaking with me Thank you.